Hi guys, welcome back to part 19 of Developing Detroit. So uh, these are the elites that I have ready to go for the series at the moment. If you could once again comment down below who you want me to pick out of these elites. Uh, last episode, I did want to use Herman more. I mean, I have really want to use him, but it doesn't seem like uh, people actually want him in the team. Because he didn't get any votes, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the uh, only person that was suggested was actually the running back here, Abdullah. Um, I haven't actually got his higher rated card, but this even this 86 card looks pretty damn good because Theo Riddick has been doing really well for us, and mainly due to his speed. And Abdullah looks, if anything, he just looks like an upgrade. I mean, he's quicker, more acceleration, and he's smaller. So effectively, even though it says he has less elusiveness, I think he, he'd probably have more because... You know, he's smaller, so he's going to be able to nip in and out of gaps a lot easier than Riddick would. So I'm hoping that he makes a big impact, because last episode, Sue actually didn't make too much of an impact. But as you can see, Abdullah here, overall stats, his stamina's not that high, actually, which is quite annoying. It's only in the high 80s, so I think Riddick will be in a fair amount of plays, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to try and run the ball a lot this episode. And um, he also... He seems like Riddick was really good sort of receiving back, so I could pu push him out wide, make him go deep or do a certain, you know, route, and he'd do it really well because he had good catch in traffic, great route running for a running back. But Abdullah seems more like, uh, you know, stays backfield and he'll just be an option there for when we need to run it. But since there was less gameplay in yesterday's episode because I couldn't actually find... Um, a good game to be perfectly honest I didn't want to waste too much or didn't want to waste an episode to be perfectly honest on on just a not very good game but as I'm sorting out special teams in the background um, I'm going to try and I mean I haven't actually looked for the games yet today because I'm doing this in sort of recording it in two parts but hoping I can find a good game today because I've been grinding a lot of solos at the moment and I just want to get a good game online out to be perfectly honest and head to head as you can see, Abdul is actually going to be a big impact on special teams as well. So thank you guys for picking him. Uh, once again, as before, if you could comment who you want down below. Once again, emphasis on Herman Moore. If uh, if you guys think that would be a good pickup because we've only got one gold... Um, well, I suppose you could call Moore a gold receiver, but he's only just gold rated. But only one really good receiver at the moment in Tate. Even though Fuller's pulling his weight, to be fair, but I don't think Moore has done too much. So... Um, I mean, Herman Moore I want to put in probably more than anyone else, to be perfectly honest. Or, or the Elite Stafford would be a huge upgrade because this Gold Stafford is overthrowing things a fair bit. But as you can see in the checklist here, Abdullah's crossed off at the top there. I'll try and see if I can get enough coins for his higher rated version. But at the moment, it's I'm just grinding solos and I just haven't got, I've only got 12k at the moment. So I'll try and build up to that. But... Like I said, if you in, uh, enjoyed the video so far, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new, because this is a daily series, and I'll probably be finishing it up within two weeks and move on to a new team. And comment down below on who you want me to put in for the next episode. But I'll jump into a game now. So, jumping into a game here, and just a quick little side note. What do you guys think of the sort of backing music in Madden this year? Because, personally, I think the all the music on there, they're all absolute bangers. But, uh, getting into the game here. This was the first game I played today, actually. It was a good game. But uh, the guy I played was, let's just say, abusive after the game. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to put the messages on, on YouTube because uh, I suppose they're, they're not safe for web. But um, getting into it here, as you can see, we're, we're using new running back, Abdullah. So uh, obviously going to give him the ball in the first place, see if he can make any magic happen. So I'm going to pitch it to him. Sort of had a lane there. Thought I could maybe cut in between the defenders. But he looks quick. So uh, And he did play well in this game. So I, I think he's going to be a good pickup in the long run. But uh, I've got to get used to using him a bit now, I think. Because he's definitely not a blocker. But you can see they're straight over the middle. That's what Ebron does. Like, Ebron has been an absolutely insane pickup. Like, I'm really hoping they bring back the stars sets. So I can actually upgrade him into an elite. But... I'm not sure whether they will or not, because I've got two of him ready. It's just 
depends when they bring it back or if they bring it back. But we go 7-0 up there really early on, only two minutes into the game. And this guy actually had, I think, a 95 overall team or something like that. So it was, it was an uphill battle right from the off. But uh, I think I'll show his team a little bit later on in the video, actually, just so you can see what I was coming up against, or what I keep coming up against, actually, to be honest. 99s all over the shirt, all over the place. But he went for a toss there. I, I locked that up pretty well, so it's third and goal. I'm thinking, right, if I go jam cover again, that should lock up the middle. Well, you, you think it would if I gamble up the middle uh, as well. So um, you know, we're going to pinch the line. He goes for a toss. He gets in, but my line just absolutely disappear. And he just runs it straight down the middle and gets it in. But I suppose that's what happens when my sort of 79 rated line is coming up against 92 overall line. So I'm not complaining here because, you know, that happens. That's the way the game works. If people have better players, they do stand a better chance to win. But at the end of the day, it probably do it does come down to the player more than the sort of team they have. But 7-0, you know, we have time to score. A uh, minute left in the seconds. Slowly moving it downfield. Get a good little screen pass there. This is what Abdullah does pretty well. You know, he's got brilliant juke moves. He's really agile and he's small. So he can sort of weave in and out of gaps. And things like that, I think I'm going to start abusing with him. Because I've got to get used to running the ball a bit more with smaller sort of running backs as opposed to the big ones. Because I like using Lynch so you can just truck people. But I'm going to try and get more used to Abdullah now because he's the running back we're going to have to use. We're going to second and four here. Coming up to the end of the second. Wide open there. Can't complain about that. I think it, think that was Tate. And he's been he's been performing every game so far. So I can't wait to get his upgraded card as well. But as you can see here, going first and goal. Managed to get in. And that's Tate wide, again, um, wide open again over the middle. So we're going up. 14-7. Really close towards the end of the second half. Um, second half? Second quarter. Then you see going 14-7 up, and I'm, I'm thinking we can hold this till the end of the quarter. But you can see his team here. Like I saw he had Elway, so I knew he was high rated. But as you can see, every position, multiple 90 rated players, high 90s as well, not just 90 like they were. 95 plus in pretty much every position. And that's hard to deal with on defence. I can deal with it on offence, but it's when I'm coming up against defences with 97 plus overalls consistently. It's just really hard to deal with. He throws it up here. And that's Slay getting his daily pick. Or one of his daily picks, to be perfectly honest. Really hope they bring out a final edition for Darius Slay. Because he definitely deserves it. And I, I would love to use that card. But you can see he went with a bit of a strange play. Wide open, could have kept running. But decided, didn't want to do that and just dove on the floor. So I had a little bit of a chance here. Third and second. Like, I'm nearly stopping this guy a fair few times. But it's just sort of... I think my corners were just outmatched. was a, a big issue. So, uh, like, choosing the right play. I think I chose the right play almost every play in this game. But it was just sort of the matchups weren't in my favour. But, as you can see, he went for a screen play. Knew that was coming. I sort of cut him off a little bit. He, he fumbled it, but managed to pick it up himself. And that was a big point in the game. Because if I managed to recover that... I could have, you know, run the clock down a bit, managed to get a field goal in, make it a two-possession game, and it would have been game over at that point because he wasn't a great player. He just had a great team, which sort of evened out, I suppose. But you can see here, Yeldon got in, 96 Yeldon. Nothing I can do about that. I mean, that's sort of the position I get in a fair amount. First and goal, you either fullback dive or you pitch it. He chose to pitch it, and I didn't gamble on that, so I wasn't going to get it. But even game here going into the fourth, so... It's pretty exciting at this point. You know, anyone can win. I'm going to wave fair catch because I have time and I'm thinking, right, I'm going to kill the clock here a bit and just win with a field goal. But he got me to third and five and I was fullback diving a lot. And fair play to him, that was a good play call. But I get that tackle, he just shrugs it off, as you do. When, uh, you know, when someone jumps at you from behind, you can just shrug it off. But we're going down 21-14 here. And I'm thinking, right, I'm going to... I know I can get a touchdown in. And I'm contemplating with myself at this point. Do I go for two points or do I try and go overtime? And I'm thinking, right, if I get towards, you know, toward or get a touchdown at all, I'm going to go for two. 
just to shut this guy up because he'd been messaging throughout the game. Well, we get a brilliant touchdown there. Uh, that's Stafford throwing an absolute dot. And that, that proves that wide receivers we have do work. But if we got, let's like, say, some of the elite ones in, say maybe maybe a Megatron, hopefully a Herman Moore if you guys vote on him. Uh, no hints. But um, hopefully we'll be able to do things like that a lot more often. But, you know, we decided to go for the two. I faked fullback dive up the middle. And I think if I went fullback diver, I would have got it in. But he just ran straight past one of my blockers, which keeps happening when I use the pitch play, to be honest. I think I'm going to have to start motioning someone out there to have an extra man just to sort of recover it. But, you know, I only have one time out left. I used it. And if I got a stop here, maybe could have, you know, controlled the game or got a field goal or something. But he goes for a pitch play and... Obviously, since his players, you know, really fast, he's going to get him. But that was the end of the game. 21-10, uh, 21-20 uh, loss. Um, I thought hopefully I got a bit more gameplay in today's one to make up for yesterday's lack of online gameplay. But that's the checklist. You know, any of the elites that I have that are on there, write in the comments who you want me to put in. But if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. Comment on anything I've suggested down below and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys tomorrow.